Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to see you back. And let's get into the Lush haul and my Lush favorites. So I have a little combination of bath products and skincare. So I think we're gonna start with the bath products today. So let's get into my favorite bath balm. So first up, we have the Sex Balm, this beauty right here. I would say, I hope I don't get demonetized for saying that, but I'm not monetized to begin with, so I think we should be fine. But anyway, this bath bomb smells divine. It's just like floral goodness and I love it so, so much. I feel like this is the bath bomb that I have the hardest time basically justifying using because I'm like, oh, it's so good. I have to save it and then I never use it. Honestly, one of my goals in life is to be rich enough or good enough at making bath bombs that I don't have to worry about it. I can just have a super fun bath bomb every night. Now, moving on to the next bath bomb, we have the Groovy Kind of Love bath bomb. So, I don't know, this one, I don't know, it smells like just like candy and sweet, but like so nice and heavenly. So excited to take a bath with this one as well. Also, I appreciate that these two don't really have a whole lot of sparkle to them because as much as I love sparkly bath bombs, they are a pain to clean out of your tub, so these are definitely quite a bit better. Next up, we have the Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. Why did I just do that? That was kind of cringy. Anyway, we have this bubble bar here. She's kind of wrapped up, so I need to get her a little unwrapped to get a real read on the scent. So this bubble bar here, I feel like it's like sweet and also just like a little floral. Um, I'm terrible at describing scents if you haven't noticed, but I love it. So excited to have baths with this. Also this one, I haven't actually tried yet, but I've tried some of their other bubble bars, but this one smells amazing, so I'm sure it'll work amazing. And the other two bath bombs are two of my favorites and I've used them many times and spent way too much money buying them. Next up, we have the Lemon Zest Soap. Now I know you wouldn't expect this from a bar of soap named Lemon Zest, but it smells like citrusy lemon. Who'd have thought, huh? But actually, in all reality, it smells so good and I am so excited to have it in my bathroom. I absolutely love lemon scented things. Um, I was a little nervous about this because I just don't like the color yellow and I don't enjoy having it in my apartment. Honestly, I don't think there's like any other yellow in my apartment. But for the lemon scent, I figured I can deal with it. The smell is so much more important. Now, before we get into skincare, let's get into hair care a little bit because these Lush products are basically the main things that I use on my hair. And honestly, I think they work pretty great. Now, to be fair, I haven't washed my hair in like a week, so if my hair looks a little off, uh, don't judge these products for it. That's all I'm saying. So first up, we have this Jason and the Argan Oil Shampoo Bar. So basically, this is this beautiful pink shampoo bar. It lathers really well and really gets the oil out of your hair, even if you don't wash your hair for a week, so it's great. Smells awesome too, I just don't know how to describe it. Also in this order, I got this little tin, which is for the shampoo bar. I really wish they would come out with one that fit the conditioner bar, but you know, they haven't. Also on the topic of conditioner bars, guess what I have to show you next? So we have this blue conditioner bar. This is from my shower. I didn't order another one of these because honestly they last so long. Honestly, so do the shampoo bars but the shampoo bar is getting a little lower than the conditioner bar, even though I use more of the conditioner bar. So this here, honestly, it smells great. I think it's an ocean breeze one or something like that. I will leave the name of it on the screen because I don't have the slightest idea. But anyway, it smells great, works well in my hair, makes my hair nice and soft, and that's honestly a lot considering I do have naturally curly hair. I know, straightened it for this video, well, actually this whole week, not just for this video. But yeah, my point is, I know it's straight now, but normally it's curly, and curly hair is pretty dry, so this is really nice. 
Now, moving on to skincare. Honestly, Lush products make up most of my skincare routine and I love how good my skin has been looking lately, so safe to say they've been working pretty well. Also, skincare routine coming soon, so stay tuned. So I guess we'll sort of go in order of how I apply the stuff to my skin. So let's start out with my cleanser. This here is the Aquamarina Face and Body Cleanser. I just use it on my face. So this has like aloe and seaweed and you know, whatever else they put in there. This is so great for my skin. And it's sort of a little exfoliating, not too much, but also like a little moisturizing, but gets the face really cleansed. It's so nice. So this is what I use on my face. And then I follow it up with my tea tree water toner. Also, I will be impressed if my camera is focusing enough on any of these things for you to be able to see them, but that's okay because I plan to film close-ups of them after. This stuff is super refreshing and I find it nice that it sort of gives my skin a little like tightening feel, super nice, and then I put on moisturizer afterwards, which isn't from Lush, but still. Also, I have one more favorite that I forgot to get out to show you, so I will be right back with that. Last up for my Lush favorites, we have the Mask of Magnamity. No idea if I said that right. Oh well. I've been using this for years. Works amazing. I keep mine in the fridge. I don't have to because this is self-preserving, but I still prefer to because it makes it super nice and refreshing and I love it. So this stuff is really good for if you have any breakouts or you just want your skin to be better honestly. I use it no matter how my skin is, but I find that if my skin is starting to act up too much because I'm super stressed or eating a little too much sugar, or you know, both, putting some of this on usually makes it a lot better, so definitely recommend. Oh, my unicorn horn broke. Honestly, that's fine. That'll probably be the piece that I'm going to use in my bath tonight. Anyway guys, I think that is everything for my Lush haul today. If you enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I would love to have you back. And I hope you got some good product recommendations. Maybe you want to try something from this video. Anyway, if you do, uh, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye guys!